For this segment of A Bit of Addison History, I want to discuss a former shopping center which served Addison from the late 60s to the late 90s. It was Army Trail Plaza, located south of Army Trail Road, just west of Mill. In March 1966, it was announced that a new shopping unit was planned in Addison. The commercial development was led by Anthony P. Ross, who had previously developed the Normandy Manor and Pioneer Park subdivisions. According to the TRIB, the shopping center was to comprise 100,000 square feet and parking for 1,000 cars on 13 acres. Initial tenants were to be the Addison Township Savings and Loan Association, two retail food stores, and a medical center. A follow-up article in August of that year stated that work had begun on the first phase of the plaza and completion was expected by the spring of 1967. By June 1968, the phone directory shows the Addison Township Savings and Loan at 625 West Army Trail Road. The bank was located in a standalone building in the parking lot area of the plaza. Addison Township Savings and Loan would go on to become American Heritage Savings and Loan Association by the mid-1970s. In 1984, American Heritage was ailing due to bad real estate loans. A Chicago Trib article indicated that Household Bank, a fast-growing Los Angeles-based bank, was interested in it. By 1987, Household Bank occupied the 625 West Army Trail Road property. In the late 1990s, the bank changed hands yet again and was now Harris Bank. Harris Bank MBM still occupies the building today. One of the early tenants of the plaza was Guido's Foods. The Guido brothers first opened their store in Chicago in 1957. They soon expanded to the Chicago suburbs. They likely chose Addison due to the high number of residents of Italian descent. As early as June 1968, Guido's is shown at 607 West Army Trail Road in the local phone directory. It is unclear when exactly Guido's moved out of the plaza. Another early tenant was the Army Trail Cleaners and Tailors at 631 Army Trail Road. By April 1996, it was the only original business still left in the plaza. At the same time, Miska's Liquors, a tenant since around at least 1970, announced that they were moving to new commercial development Centennial Plaza, located on Lake Street between Lombard and Rawling Roads. The heyday for the Army Trail Shopping Plaza was the late 60s to the early 1980s. Stores would close, but new businesses would take their place. Leamington's Food Store came in the 1980s and anchored the plaza until early 1993. In 1981, Sam Gunda opened his computer store called Digital World when the plaza was still nearly fully occupied. In 1983, a day spa called the Tub House opened in the center. In 1989, a teen club called Reactions briefly operated out of the plaza. But by the fall of 1993, the center was nearly 40% vacant. The condition of the buildings and parking lot had become deteriorated despite village attempts to get the owner to comply with local codes. In 1994, the village decided to create a TIF or Tax Increment Financing District to help spur redevelopment of the plaza. The TIF designation enabled the village to freeze taxes collected by the taxing bodies and to put the subsequent tax increases into a special fund to help pay for the redevelopment. It was hoped that the redevelopment would encourage quality businesses to come to Army Trail Plaza. The TIF district was extended to include residential properties in the Green Oaks subdivision, 
Pleasant View Condos, the former Moody Bible Institute property, and Addison Court apartment area. To speed up the redevelopment, the village passed a 0.25% sales tax increase to supplement the TIF funds effective January 1995. Although redevelopment of the Green Oaks area was soon halted due to a federal lawsuit, redevelopment of the shopping plaza proceeded. As early as August 1995, the village thought they may have an interested developer, but the deal did not come to fruition. Another deal was announced in April 1996, but it too did not come to pass. Finally, in March 1997, ARN Neary, a local firm which had previously developed the Whispering Meadow subdivision off of Raw Wing Road, announced a proposal to build a small strip mall and townhome community on the site. Neary was subsequently granted $2 million by the village to help cover lease buyouts, flood mitigation, soil preparation, landscaping demolition, and roadway construction for the new development. Named Town Square, the 42 townhouse development hoped to attract empty nesters and city dwellers looking to get into the suburbs. Ranch and two-story homes ranged in price from $185,900 to $223,900. The development held its grand opening to the public on October 25th 1998.